destino y cuando muere la tarde muere toda su ilusión silencio hay en el aire silencio Espera en su tristeza ver de nuevo el sol solo todo el día caminando la guitarra entre sus manos solo piensa encontrar amor cabalga por el camino soñando con su destino y cuando muera la tarde habrá muerto su What do you think you're doing? I'm leaving. If you ever try this again, I'll kill you. I won't stay with you any longer. You're my wife. You're beginning to believe that, aren't you? I despise you and don't think I can't look after myself. Sometimes you seem to forget you're a woman. Here in your house, I can protect you from Bill Carter. Oh. Well? Oh. You know what he'd do to you if he ever got you? Just to get even with me? But that's why I want to get out of here. It's you he's after, you and the money. He won't get one cent from me. You can't keep me here. We're not married. It was all a trick. I don't want to hurt you. I like you. You're disgusting. All right, uh. then. But you're staying with me. It's too late for you to get away. And don't forget one thing. You have to be the ever-loving wife, devoted to her husband, filling the house with sweetness and light. Everyone's got to think so. And that includes Bill Carter. I hate you.
It ain't no one. Who the blazes are you? A man riding a horse. Nothing wrong with my eyes. But you're riding on my land. And I want to know what your name is. Nebraska. Nebraska. Just Nebraska? Just Nebraska. Where are you from? I'm from Nebraska. Nah. Whoever you are, that was some pretty fast shooting. But you ran out of ammunition. No, I got one more cartridge. Are uh, you looking for work? Uh, depends. You must be able to do something besides fire a gun. Like handling a herd of cattle, for example. Are you offering me a job? <sighs> That's right. My name's Marty. Marty Hillman. Give your horse a rest. I can offer you 70 a month and all you can eat. You got any problems there? Who hasn't? Of course, it's nothing so serious that it would worry you. Come on over to the house and meet the wife. This here is Kay, my wife. Welcome to my house. He's going to stay here and work for me. His name's Nebraska. Pleased to meet you. He does some pretty impressive shooting, and I reckon he can handle cattle. We got plenty of work for a hand like him on this spread. But first of all, Kay, Nebraska and I could use a little food. I'll fix something for you right away. It'll be ready in a few minutes. I guess that just about covers everything. Thanks. Well, how do you feel about working for me? Are you interested in my work? Or my gun? Your work and your gun. You see, all I got is this ranch. And a thousand head of cattle. And I'm keeping them. Come on. A fellow named Bill Carter. Ever hear of him? No. Well, here in New Mexico, he's pretty well known, I'm afraid. And we fought together in the war in the same regiment right up to Gettysburg. But he was never any friend of mine, that's certain. And now he's turned up out of the blue and taken over the town of Belfast. You dangerous? You bet he is Nebraska. And he's rounded up a gang of gunmen and cutthroats just as bad as he is himself, or worse. I used to have nine men working for me here on the ranch. But not now. Six of them got frightened and left, and I expect the others are going to leave any minute. You said $70 a month? And 25 cents for every head of cattle that gets through to Laredo. Is it a deal? It's a deal. I'm going to take 300 head of cattle into town. I can handle that. All I need is a couple of riders who can stay in the saddle. I have to go. Look after the deal and do the banking. But I want you to stay right here. You've got to keep your eye on things. Carter? Carter. And my wife. in the herd in the valley. Go and see what happened. Hurry! Come on, speak to me. Who did this to you? Come on, Donato, speak up. He's dead. 
didn't say anything. There were three of them that came up the south trail, shot him, scattered the livestock, and went off in that direction. Come lo sai? Le impronte sono molto chiare, non mi sbaglio. Well, give me a hand with him, come on. What are you going to do? What do you think? We're going to take his body to the sheriff and look for Bill Carter. Are you afraid? Is Carter a fast draw? Sure. One of the fastest there is. But we got to face him anyway. Go there like this and accuse him without any proof, he'll say you're a liar. Then if you draw your gun, he'll murder you, which is exactly what he wants. What else can we do? We'll get rid of the body first. Then we'll go to Belton from your place and Carter won't know what to think. That's pretty clever. All right, give me a hand. Donato boys, then get your rifles and set up a watch. If anyone comes snooping around, you shoot. Double pay and you can help yourself to my whiskey. Marty! What happened? Someone killed Donato in the hills and drove off all the cattle. Carter? We think we may be able to find out something down in the village. You stay in the house. We'll be back as soon as possible. There's nothing to worry about, Mrs. Hillman. The men will be keeping a lookout. Let's go. Murder, Sheriff. The 
someone shot one of my men and drove off my herd. Now, what's this all about, Marty? Three men came out to my ranch by the old trail. They shot my foreman, Donato. Three, eh? How do you know there were three of them? By the tracks. We followed them here, Sheriff. Portano dritti al villaggio. Ha! Accidenti, Marty! Forse oggi non sono abbastanza lucido per seguire un discorso filato. Ma che diavolo vuoi dire? Non potresti spiegarti meglio. They were the tracks of the horses of those men with Carter. Making up that story. These three men have been working with me for the whole day. Yeah, you better take that back, Hillman, you dirty rotten bum. Now, wait a minute, boys. I don't want any gunfights here. It's true. Mr. Hillman is telling the truth. I already got enough worries. After they killed Donato, they broke up the herd. They headed south over the hills and made their way back down to the valley trail about four miles from Belton. You mind saying how you know all this? I see I'm a little hard to convince. I'm... One of the horses was easy to track. A brown horse that was missing his right hind shoe. You're lying, stranger. No one here believes you. I'm going to give you a lesson and make you eat those words right now. I said no shooting. Who are you? My name's Nebraska. I work for Hillman. Not for much longer, you don't. I'm sorry, but I couldn't help it. You drew fast. Put that gun away, Nebraska. If that's your name. Well, Bert, what's that badge of yours for? All right. I gotta carry out my duty as sheriff. And you, Carter, if you want to register any complaints, you can save them for the trial. I told you these men were working with me all day. You're gonna lose that star, Sheriff. If you listen to a hired gunfighter and a man you know is my enemy. I said there's gonna be a trial, Carter. Don't think I'm arresting your men for the fun of it. Right now, I want them to hand their guns over to me. Come on, boys. All right. It's best to avoid trouble. And Marty, you have to make a statement. You gotta write it all down. We'll do everything according to the rules. Badge doctor, everything. You're the sheriff, Barrett. Come on, let's go. Go on. You know, I've been working here most all of my lifetime, and I never met a chess player before. Here, on the house. 
Milk, do you have any? So your name's Nebraska. That's my name, all right. No, it's not all right. We don't want any gunmen around here. It's bad for the town's reputation. Maybe you better clear out while you still can. Or you might find you hanging from one of our trees. What do I owe you? It's on the house. In my bar, the first drink's free. You going back to play nursemaid to Marty? Carter, you better be careful. I'll be careful. <laughs> <laughs> Sheriff, believe in this man, complete stranger? It's for you, Marty. If you don't prove anything against my men, you'll be sorry you accused him. Whiskey. It isn't serious, fortunately, just a scratch. <sighs> Well, tomorrow morning I want to go out and have a look at your ranch. Maybe I'll find a clue there where they killed Donato. But if you're not telling the truth, Marty, I'm going to lose this star. And someone will lose a lot more than me. That's one thing I can say for certain. Give me a drink. No. Whiskey. Be matter no hornet. No one's ever managed to beat him before, and you did it twice. <laughs> What's your story anyway, Nebraska? You on the run? Ah, 
I guess it's none of my business. But from now on, I want you to know that you can count on me as a friend. Thanks, Marty. argument, but it isn't serious. We have to look after Marty right now. Get some water fast. We gotta clean the wound. How bad is he? Bad enough. He's very weak. He's lost a lot of blood. down to Belton and tell the doctor to come up here. Say it's urgent. And listen, tell Manuel to stay on guard out on the porch. Hey, Manuel, I'm going down to Belton. You'll have to stay here and guard the ranch. Don't let anyone near the place. Remember, keep a sharp lookout. Go on. You can tell they're both frightened. You can see it in their faces. That's fair enough. First Donato and now Marty. It's a frightening situation. better do something about that cut now. Come on. No, thank you. Don't argue. shot at us wasn't more than 30 paces from where we were. Well, what of it? Well, he shot my horse. 
Then he shot Marty. That's very strange. Do you think it means anything, Nebraska? You know, you're a funny person. I mean, why should you get involved in all our troubles with Bill Carter and the others? Because I want to see how it all ends. Now, if you don't mind, I'm going to bed. I'm tired. Wait a minute. You don't have to sleep outside. There's a spare room upstairs. Suits me? That way I'll be able to call you if Marty gets worse. All right. I'll keep one eye open. Don't be afraid to get a good rest. I'll be awake down here and Manuel will guard the house. You have to get back your strength. Bill Carter isn't going to give you much more time. Good night, Nebraska. Hospitality, Sheriff. That's better. Without this, I feel undressed. Is that all? Yeah, all according to the rules. I already warned you, Sheriff. If you're looking for a murderer, you won't find him in the bottom of a glass. Come on. <laughs> Get away. I guess you must be drunker than usual, Bert. I had to. Carter brought a whole bunch of witnesses. Those three guys never budged from the ranch. One of the witnesses was Donovan. And Donovan wouldn't lie for Bill Carter. I say you can trust Donovan. If he saw them at Carter's ranch, they were there. Well, what do you want? I couldn't keep them here forever. Yeah, but now what'll they do? They'll go looking for Marty and that other man. Well, what are you going to do about that, Sheriff? Uh, you know there's nothing I can do about it. Let them find it out.
Sleep well? Yeah, pretty well, thanks. How's Marty? He kept groaning all night long, but he's sleeping now. Manuel has disappeared. I guess he left last night, and he took one of our guns, the coward. We'll just have to manage without him. We will, don't worry. How do you feel this morning? Hmm. All better? Yeah, fine. You must be hungry, I bet. Yeah, sure am. You expecting visitors or something? Yeah, I am. The sheriff, he's supposed to come out this morning to look over the pasture. He'll be here. He may drink too much, but he keeps his promises. doesn't get back soon with the doctor. Marty won't have a prayer. I can't understand why the sheriff is so late. With Carter around, anything's possible. Coffee? No, thanks. You're thinking that I don't really care for Marty, aren't you? I've known more affectionate wives. I'm not married to him. One day I'll explain everything to you. I hope that you'll understand. There's nothing anyone can do. Marty and I must get together, Nebraska. I won't interfere. Right. Now listen, I want to tell you something. I've known Carter ever since I was a girl. If it really was him who shot at you, he was doing precisely what he meant to do. I'm sure of it. Marty was the target. It wasn't you. Bill Carter is far too clever to make such a stupid error. Poor Darcy. Please, Nebraska, take my advice. You must get away from here. Why should you risk your life helping Marty? There's nothing you or anybody can do, because he's as good as dead. What does Carter want? He wants to kill Marty. So he can get me to go with him. He wants me to be his... He thinks of me as a toy. Just like a prize he might win in a shooting gallery. It's a pretty story, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Well, I hope I can help. You mean you'll stay with us? But why, Nebraska?
curiosity, nothing more. And also because Marty called me friend before he was wounded. You're clever. Real clever. Especially about women. They killed the child! They shot Bert! He's dead! No way. What's this all about? Someone shot the sheriff. We just found his body on the road to Marty's place. What's that? The sheriff was shot while he was on his way to Marty's. You must be kidding us. Yeah? Well, take a look at that. I want to go to the pasture and have a little look around. If anything happens, use this. If I hear any shooting, I'll come back. Where you are, Carter, back on your horse and get off my ranch and your men with him and fast. Okay, we've come to get Marty and that gunman he hired yesterday. You better not try, Carter. Put down the gun, Kay. This is Brack. Bird has been shot. I'm the sheriff now. Do you hear, Kay? Yeah, I hear you. Don't shoot. Just tell him to come out here. Marty's dying. He can't move and Nebraska's not here. Do you expect us to believe that? All right, then. You can come in. You better search the place, Sheriff. But when you're through, get off my ranch. Why would Marty be dying? I don't understand. You can't be serious. It's simple enough. Last night, somebody shot him. Are you coming in? So Marty was shot. Why don't you admit that he was wounded this morning, Kay, when him and Nebraska attacked Bert? I told Brack the truth. You know that better than anyone, don't you, Carter? He's in a bad way. Why the devil don't you do something for him? I sent for the doctor last night, but he never came. He was out of town. He went over to Johnson City. He had an urgent call. Come on, let's get going. You're the sheriff and we came here to help you enforce the law. What really happened to Marty doesn't matter much. The important thing is to capture that gunman. Yeah. Where's Nebraska? I don't know. He went away. He can't be very far. Let's go after him. You're lucky that we got a sheriff as stupid as Brack. When I visit you again, I'll be alone. Goodbye, Kay. 
Don't think I'm afraid of you. Sign here. Let's try the hills. Come on. Hey. It's all right. There's no one here. They were searching for you. I saw them. They're coming back? No. How come the sheriff wasn't here with the men from the village? Someone shot him this morning. Where? While he was on his way here, at the place where they shot Marty. That's strange. Now they think you and Marty must have shot Donato and made that story up as a way to get rid of Carter. But Carter has witnesses that the men never even left his ranch. Bert couldn't do anything but let them go. So they're free. I'm so worried, Nebraska. Everybody believes Carter. No one thinks he shot Marty. He says you had an argument, either with Marty or with the sheriff, and that you shot both of them. There are too many on his side, and even Brack can't do anything. Don't worry. Everything will look brighter when Joe gets here with the doctor. You think he'll come back? He may have run off like Manuel. Please, Nebraska, you better go. If you stay, you'll be killed. I can't leave before this is straightened out. Looks like bad weather up north. It won't matter to us. Nebraska, I know I ought to thank you, but I want to make you change your mind. Don't look at me like that. I mean, it's hopeless for you to remain. I still want to stay. All right, Nebraska. But remember, I warned you. Carter is capable of anything, including murder. Told me that already. However, that won't stop us from drowning.
Non voglio che ti uccidano, Nebraska. Non voglio. Lo sai? Sì, lo so. Ho bisogno di te. Lui morirà. Nessuno può farci nulla. Oh, Nebraska, believe me. I never thought I could feel this way. For anyone. Okay. Yes, you're the only man I've ever hoped would love me. never make it to the other side. But the boss will die. If we both get drowned, that won't help, will it? We gotta hurry. Now 
help yourself. Come here, kid. You want some? <laughs> Don't you know that laughing is bad for the digestion? You better take it easy, or you might get sick. Oh, now you won't be able to finish your dinner. I'm sorry about that. Los otros, anda. This is a private discussion, so you better move off. Now, let's talk. What is this, anyway? What's on your mind? Just think of what's in my hand and answer. Why did Bert free him? He had to let us go. Carter had witnesses. Is that so? Well, I'm fed up with that story. What I want to know is this. Who killed Donato and Marty? I don't remember anything. And if I did, I wouldn't tell you. <laughs> you got the next one between the eyes. Come on, quit stalling. Who killed Donato and who's behind all this? Connie did it. He gave the order. to settle. Lou! You're real brave when you're dealing with a defenseless woman. You ought to take it easy, ma'am. You're going to be a widow soon. If I'm not, it won't be any thanks to you. I'm not talking about Marty. He's no problem anymore. Is he, Bill? Nope. Go and have a look around anyway. Go on. No, not you. Let go of me. You come with me. Let me go. <laughs> <laughs> That's enough, Carter. <laughs> Leave her be, here. Yeah? This has nothing to do with you, Lou. Don't try to interfere. If it has anything to do with you, it has a lot to do with me. The first thing is to get rid of Nebraska. Anyway, she can't run away. We lose fifty thousand dollars. Wait till we find it before you finish him off. Three years I've searched. Let's be careful what we do. Right now the townspeople are on our side, but if Marty dies, we'll have to make Kate talk. I know how to make her talk. Only don't you forget this. I look after Kay myself. All right, Carter. All right. But don't you forget that I have to get half of the money. I never forget anything. You can depend on that. When we fix Nebraska, our problems will be over. Come on. Hey. 
<laughs> Stop. You shouldn't play with guns, Kay. Aren't you afraid somebody might be hurt? I'm not afraid, Carter. If anyone's hurt, it'll be you. I'll say one thing. If you want to look after Kay yourself, I don't mind. But you better keep your spurs on. <laughs> I like him lively. <laughs> I'll be back, Kay. Don't worry. Keep a light in the window. <laughs> With due respect to the memory of the dear departed, somewhere up there, that this star sure looks different now, don't it? And besides, when you're owner of a bar and sheriff at the same time, it's good for business. What do you mean by that, cowboy? I mean, well, you know, if anyone walks out without paying, you can arrest him. And instead of going to jail, you can wash dishes. Oh, no, no. I need some sleep after nine hours on horseback combing the mountains for Nebraska. I'm about ready for bed. Everybody stay where they are. No tricks. Ah. Who knows where I can find Bill Carter? What do you want with Carter? I want to put a bullet in his brain. I want to stop him before he murders anybody else, Sheriff. Listen, Nebraska. There's some here who think the only killer is you. I know. That's why I'm looking for Carter. You certainly seem mighty sure of yourself. I am. You've all been tricked, and I can prove it. You sure have got a lot of nerve, youngster. Maybe you can shoot me if you want, but you can't tell me that the sun is only a fried egg. Listen, Sheriff, Carter is very smart. He sent three men to drive off the cattle and kill Donato. On the horses of three other... Some people who were at Carter's ranch saw these other three men there, gambling, all afternoon. So according to the witnesses, they were too far away to be involved. See how it works, Sheriff? I suppose you have proof of all this. Do you work for Carter? Yeah. Only I ain't no killer. Maybe. Just be careful when you move your hands. I met Braddock and Hank in the valley. And I saw Tedder and Elmer. What happened? There's some shooting. Braddock and Hank are dead. The others talked. Then who killed Donato? Braddock did. Tedder's a bit smashed up, but he'll talk. And the third? His name is Hollander. Fern Hollander. My hand! So you're Hollander. Well, Sheriff, this is another one for you. I didn't do anything except drive away. It was Braddock that killed the Mexican. Who killed Bert? I don't know. Who? All right, it was Carter. And Lou. What did they kill him for? I can answer that. The other night when they shot at us, they wanted to kill Marty. Then they shot Bert so they could accuse me of everything. We must find Carter right away. That's easy. We can go out to his ranch. <laughs> Thanks, Sheriff. Sometimes you have to fire. It's easier when you're wearing a badge. Right, boys. As proprietor, I'm offering a round on the house. Yeah, that boy's a drink on the sheriff. I want to finish this case fast. Carter won't get away with it. Thanks to you, youngster. Everybody here, Adam? Yes, sir. Then let's go. Hey, 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 uh... Carter, we gotta make a run for it. There's no time to lose. Have you been drinking, Dixon? That dirty coyote Nebraska knows everything. He got Elmer and Ted at the top. Un disastro, vi dico. E quel che è peggio che Brack e gli altri sono con lui adesso. And Braddock and Hank, both dead. Nebraska shot him. We gotta act fast. We better get that fellow out of the way first and then worry about Marty afterwards. We can't have him interfering with our plans to get away from here. 
Maybe. Let's go. Yeah, but where to? Remember that Kay can tell us where to find the hidden money. And it's just possible that Kay will help us find Nebraska. short of a miracle, Kay. There's nothing I could do. can put more beer in his stomach than he has blood in his body. Strange, eh? Well, I'm off. There's no use in me staying. So long, everyone. Joe, take the doctor to the river. I've been expecting you. Carter and Lou were here. I know. I saw the tracks of their horses. You should see my back, too. But I don't suppose you care now that he's dead. Don't you see, Nebraska? Marty is dead. Marty is dead, which is what I've always wanted. But I did everything I could to prevent it. And everything I did was for you. It was for your sake I looked after Marty. Because Marty was the only one who could help you. You must be tired, Kate. Can't you understand? Of course I'm tired. Tired of throwing myself at you like this and being refused. But all I want now is you. You. Perché sei rimasta con lui? Oh, è una lunga, sporca storia. Ma è te che voglio. Te. Nothing in here. They're flies. Barn's empty, Sheriff, and so's the stable. Well, Adam, what now? Oh, come on. Well, now listen. Are you or are you not a deputy sheriff? Sure, but I'm no expert like you. And if you want my opinion, why don't we ride over to Marty's? Let's go then. I'm gonna go find Breck. Carter's a tough character. Breck and his deputies can't handle him alone, so I'm gonna lend a hand. Do you mind staying behind? Will you be all right, Kay? You don't have to worry. I'm not afraid of dead bodies. I guess there's nobody as quiet as a dead man. tracks on the other side of the ford. If it's Carter and his gang, I'd say they're already at the ranch. We made those tracks yesterday, Adam. Track, you must think I'm stupid or something. I learned to recognize press tracks the hard way during the war. No offense intended. I fought in the war, too. But that was more than ten years ago.
You two stay out here and keep a sharp lookout. Come on. Enough. Understand? I'm not gonna waste any more time, you hear? Uh. Where's Marty? Marty's dead. Got rid of him at last. Now what do we do? Now we have a little talk with Kay. She's gonna tell us where Marty hid the money from the bank at El Paso. Well, where is it? Don't keep us waiting, Kay. Sure would be unfortunate for something to happen to a girl so pretty. What do you mean? I mean, face might get burned. No! That's enough of that. I give the orders here. You afraid to mark her face a little for running off with Marty? She deserves it. And besides, she knew he'd sold out her old man. Betrayed him for $50,000. That money was ours, too. It wasn't my fault. I really believed Marty was helping my father. It wasn't until later that I knew he'd kept everything and handed my father over to the law. So what? Who cares? We want to know where the money is. I'm taking no chances. You're pretty, yeah, but I don't trust you. You fooled your old man, and you managed to get Marty to help you. But I'm too smart for you. Take a good look around, you two. Hurry up. You look upstairs. Uh. Can't you leave me alone? You remember making that mark there, eh? You did it with your teeth when you were 16. Well, now things are different. I'll tie you up like a dog till you learn to eat out of my hand. When I tell Nebraska, he'll kill you. <laughs> you think so? When he knows your father was Duke Kramer, the most bloodthirsty bank robber in New Mexico, huh? And that Marty Hillman was really Marty Bauman, the murderer. And that you actually helped rob the bank at El Paso. I didn't find anything. If you can't make a talk, let's clear out. Hey, Carter, look here. Look, I found it at last. He was in there with his clothes. The $50,000. Did you ever see so much money? <laughs> it's beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> I want my share right away, before we get into any more trouble. Take it easy, Dixon. Remember, we began together, and I'm for keeping together. Brack and his men are after us, you know that, and so's Nebraska. What about her? Just a minute, Carter. I've always been loyal. I've accepted your orders, but now that's all finished. You're not giving the orders anymore. Get it? If we try to take her with us now, we haven't got a chance. It's just like sticking our heads in the noose. She'll be no bother with a bullet in her. And neither were those two guys out front. Remember, there's two of us, Carter. Well? 
What's it going to be? Don't forget we've been after this money for years. We don't want to lose it now. What are you going to do, Bill? Speak up. Yeah, Bill, speak up. You look surprised. <coughs> Bill, get there. $50,000. It was stolen from El Paso three years ago. And there's another $10,000 reward for those three in there. Here, look after it. Hey, Brack, there are four bodies in there. Carter, Dixon, Lou, and Marty. It's going to be an expensive funeral. <laughs> Never mind. We can afford it. Son 
solo piensa encontrar amor Cabalga por el camino Soñando con su destino Igual 